Hello, my name is Charles Miller. I'm a, I'm a member of the Gettysburg College class of 2025. I'm Olivia Taylor. I'm also a member of the Gettysburg College class of 2025. And Charles and I are both fellows through the Civil War Institute at Gettysburg College. When you think of the afternoon of July 3rd, 1863, chances are you're going to think of Pickett's famous charge. Elon J. Farnsworth's charge, however, was equally as interesting, though much less discussed. Elon Farnsworth was a young man of just 25 years who hailed from Green Oak, Michigan. Farnsworth was recently appointed to the command of the 1st Brigade, 3rd Division of the Union Army Cavalry Corps, and he was ordered by uh, Brigadier General Hugh Judson Kilpatrick, or as he became known, Kill Cavalry, to make this charge at the Confederate positions south of Devil's Down and Little Round Top following the defeat of Pickett and Jeb Stuart. He made the charge against John Bell Hood's, uh, rem remnants of John Bell Hood's forces, although it was commanded by Evander Law as Hood had been wounded the previous day. Upon receiving the order from Kilpatrick, Farnsworth initially was reluctant to embark on the charge, arguing to Kilpatrick that it had virtually no chance of success. Interestingly, Kilpatrick did not take lightly, did not take kindly to this, as he accused Farnsworth of cowardice, something that would be very controversial after the charge, and also would give Kilpatrick the nickname Kill Cavalry. Farnsworth only had three regiments of which to charge against Hood's forces, and he was he was correct in his assessment of the charge. It failed drastically, as and Farnsworth was killed, shot five times, and one Confederate soldier, William C. Oates, famous for his attack against Joshua Chamberlain at Little Round Top on July 2nd, said that he saw Farnsworth commit suicide rather than be captured or killed by Southern troops. Additionally, Farnsworth had just been appointed commander to the 1st Brigade of the Cavalry Corps, and he was only a man of 25. He had been appointed five days earlier than this, and also was nominated by President Lincoln to be Brigadier General on June 29th. It certainly speaks to the sacrifice and horror of this charge that Farnsworth never got to receive his Brigadier General uh, label, and it also just speaks to the nature of, it brings about questions of sacrifice in the battlefield and just the morals and, you know, morality of war. Ultimately, Farnsworth's charge had very little impact on the outcome of the battle, as most of the major engagements had occurred prior in the day. Um, ultimately, what had happened was the men in his unit were sentenced to their deaths, more or less. Uh, Captain H.C. Parsons was even quoted as having stated that each man felt that they were sentenced to a ride of death. If you would like to follow in the hoofsteps of General Elon J. Farnsworth's cavalry, you should join the tour with Matt Atkinson on June 13th. Atkinson is a park ranger at the Gettysburg National Military Park, so he knows his way around. Additionally, he will bring about great questions and discussions about the place of this charge within the overall context of the battle and its value within the battle. We thank you all for tuning in, and we hope to see you at the Civil War Institute this coming June.